Welcome back, guys, to this massive game. It's our third place game for one of these two sides. A spot potentially to be able to get promoted later in the season. It's Nightlife against Meteor. I'm Lou2K with Danny. Well, hello, as you said, the importance of this match, quite as serious as it is. I mean, the lifeline for one of these teams here. So far, standard kickoff as procedure here. Distance is going to be important. Do you think the Stam is going to life out here, or this long ball is going to be deadly and long enough? It feels we saw lots of long balls being played in some of these earlier games, and it might be a continued affair coming into this game. It is preferred nightlife on the blue team, Meteor on the orange team, and it is for now just a slow little start from both sides. Preferred nightlife, they're looking to try and keep the control and play here, and just trying to outplay their opponent. Sky was looking to do something with the ball there, but in the end, it's a great centre. Seelox finds the goal, and that's a lead in favour of Meteor. Lovely ball, as you say, gets the fit, he used those a wall, Selex tops it down, lovely as well, crossbar on under, beautiful technique, gets the ball, drops it underneath it, defense should have rotated a back post to have a chance there, 1-0, good start in this here opening game. And Nightlife looking to try and ex get something back into this as soon as they can really, they are trying to send the ball forward through Captain, he can't try to do anything yet, there was a chance potential chance coming in there for the preferred nightlife side but sea dogs he's got an empty goal to work with a chance but realistically a good save from captain on the preferred nightlife side and it is now preferred nightlife trying to push forward sky shot oh, almost ready but it's so good from Horo. he can finish it off and that's the response oh i mean beautiful from, from sky one touch quick shot off the bar on lucky Defence couldn't reach it there in a simple tap and an equal eyes and goal in the opening to less than 80 seconds to great start both pressing and both going for the game here they're not sitting back in defence they're hungry they want to win as well and that's great to see for both of us the viewers and them captain had another shot there for the preferred nightlife side but nothing came of it and now preferred nightlife really trying to control this ball they are losing it because it's meteor now pushing forward of a chance hollow had to get that shot but it's still dangerous the ball's still here for meteor trying to get it into towards the net and they're just really trying to control this, and there's no control coming up from either side. An easy clearance on Nightlife as they now push forward. They go for the shot. The chance was there from Captain, and I think, if anything, Captain did enough to just couldn't quite get it on target. Shinku, he's here with just approaching a few minutes ago. A chance, potentially, a missed shot by Captain, and the chance from Timmy is well saved by Horam. I mean, fabulous so far playing. You said earlier they're slightly a little bit light, good block, a bit of nerves, maybe put them off under that. The opening bit there from Nate Lake there, just moving the ball left and right. A lovely idea. Just couldn't get it on target. Just needs to realize how much time he has on the ball. And I easily could have been 2 1, but it's just slightly get. But excellent saves all around. And somehow it's still tied a piece. It's a great game number one here. It's really close and closer than I was expecting realistically. Meteor trying to control the ball and they're now the side under pressure here as Prefer Nightlife try and push forward here. It's actually going to be Seelox just to control the ball here for Meteor and just both sides really tapping away trying to control the ball. Neither side really able to con control and keep the possession in their favour. Captain just loses the ball there. Timmy's going to take advantage. A chance really could have come from that for Meteor but there was no one there to work and play off of that ball. Now Horo with off the back or a chance, but Timmy will make another save. It's two minutes left and it's still tied a piece. Well tied a piece, but look at that lovely little pass and play. Beautiful de deception there. The captain couldn't get much and Seelux drops it in beautifully. It's just a shame nobody was at home. 2-1 with two minutes left on to it. That's a nice game one here for Meteor. So second go for Seelux as well just helping his team get this lead and it's a much more comfortable confident and comfortable start from what we saw in that game we saw from meteor just now and actually prefer nightlife trying to respond how they can and the other side who have to defend this ball away captain makes a good shot and at the second attempt won't quite fully clear away it's prefer nightlife trying to get something in skies with the he had the shot there's an open net a good save across and timmy tells effort will be knocked away by horo Oh, a beautiful, knocks it away, Hor. Beautiful defensive play. You see how slow he's bringing the ball. Learn his teammates to push up. Fantastic. 
fantastic play as well. Moving it, keeping it down, boost control. Lovely idea where you're trying to chase the game down. You're not wasting time. You're just slowly building up the play and pressure. Fabulous here. And with this opportunity, this could be tied a piece. Good chance coming out there from Fern Life. It just it wasn't quite falling in their favour. Captain will get the ball down here, and there was some control wanted by the Fern Nightlife side, and a shot potentially could be coming in. As Sky was trying to centre and send the ball into the net, but no one really there to be able to build off that. Captain again, another chance. There is a player back here for Meteor, and for now, Meteor they will do enough to just knock and clear it away. There's 30 seconds now for Fern Nightlife to really respond and get something back to at least tie it for overtime. And Overtime is what they've got to play for at this stage here, but there's a shot by Meteor down the other side of the net. Captain, he rotated back in, in the length of time, was able to knock it away, but it's a shot, a good shot as well, and somehow that ends up in the back of the net by Shinku. Well, nearly a good play. Horror there just doesn't get the angle, tries to pass it there. Sky tried to interfere with it. Seelox maybe put the defender off there, slips in too, but it's a quick 3-1 after all the pressure slightly leaps away there. 20 seconds left. I say game one sorted and dusted now. Shinku trying to get something else for me to at the end here. And there's a chance, a possibility for a fourth at the end there, but prefer Nightlife are actually rotating forward here and looking for a chance. And it's a good little block in the corner of the net, but they can't do anything about Sky's effort. There's 10 seconds and it's going to be a big ask if prefer Nightlife want to take this to overtime now. Yeah, big opportunity here. At least gives them the opportunity. Defense dude still quiet there as well. Beautiful shot technique to get it in the cross, Barnt out. But it has to be a quick kick off here. I don't see any other way. If they are trying to control it, but Timmy Toll's got an open there. That's surely this game sealed and done with. He's the one guy who hasn't scored for Meteor yet, but he has now. Well, I mean, you've seen, unfortunately, all the people in blue pressuring the ball, trying to get a quick recycle it, move it back down the field, left or right from blue, the orange, couldn't do it. And I said, it's one of those ones you have to take the chance, push it early and hope for the best. And they've got caught off guard on a quick counter. Can't blame them for it. 4-2 will be game number one. Close affair, but not close enough. That's Meteor with the lead going into map two. Welcome back then, guys, to game number two. Prefer Nightlife then. Have to try and recover here. I am again here with Danny, and it was a good start for me to in that game. I mean, it's an excellent start. Quick response. You're in the third place match here. You might as well play quick, get it early, get a good opening start. Builds the confidence as well. And as you already see it, they're tough to defend a little bit here, but... It's calmly, it's in the corner, nothing being pressured or pushed in the difficult spots here in 20 seconds, dealt with, comfortably sealed the wins there, and got off onto a counter-attack as well, and that is going to be a good start. Meteor trying to keep this ball alive and trying to keep this attack in play, but they won't quite be able to do a lot more of it. It is Sky, the man, to clear it away, and a couple of mistakes here by Meteor. There's a shot by Sky, just hit the post. So close, but not quite on target. That's Meteor surviving a scan. Down the other end they go. They're rotating forward, looking for the goal, but and have a good save by Sky. And the uh, nightlife defense. Both sides really seeming up for this. And as you said, end-to-end -end stuff. Really, both sides want to win this, and they don't want to give up. Tirito and Meteor 
They're just going to try and control the ball, but if anything, that could have been a dangerous attempt for Nightlife to take advantage there. They don't quite hit the shot, and prefer Nightlife, they have to now fall back and reset. Well, as you said, reset, it was an interesting way. Pinches the ball, gets it up to the field. Hard clear with the one man, or recycle it back, air dribble it from the bit. But when you leave the ball dangling like that there, could have been dangerous. Great save by Timmy. Keeps it into the corner. Breathes a sigh of relief there as well. 90 seconds tied all apiece. We've seen two goals slip in game number one comparatively. This here is us building up into a tasty goal fest. But it's now with more tacticians. Ooh. So close by Hora. I think Seelock just got a slight touch onto it. Which just knocked it away at the end there. So close. And prefer nightlife. They're looking dangerous this game. They're, they don't want to give up. And Meteor... And now just able to calmly react and calmly clear the ball away. It's not perfect defending from either side. Let's make that clear. And it is now Meteor now rotating forward. Captain Zan. Actually, it's a shot home by Seelogs. I mean, beautiful play there. You see the quick counter from Timmy. All the blue team pushes up. Seelox gets into it. Lovely pass. Weighed it beautifully. Not enough pressure on the ball. Powers it in. Slots it home too. Gets the deadlock broken. Good idea. Gets it in as well. Before half time as well. Gives you enough time to build a lead. Or if you're going to concede, enough time to respond as well. Ideal play for Meteor. The chance is there for Nightlife. They're trying to respond and trying to get this response. Or at least tie up this match. But for now, can't quite get anything. Everyone just going for that ball. And the mistake there. Actually, a teammate hitting by Shinku. His teammate, actually, or Hora, will be the player to knock it away. Now an open net. Now a chance. And... Captain was just trying to keep the pressure alive there, but they couldn't quite find the net, and it, it's feeling a little bit sloppy here and there. A couple of mistakes coming out. Seelox with the chance, the ball being centred by Shinku, nothing quite working out. There's two minutes 20 on the clock, and prefer nightlife. I'll try and respond, but Meteor just about doing what they can to keep the lead. Ooh, they're keeping them at bay, the demo in the air. Oh, if you're a romantic, goals, Rocket League, fireworks, where's the meal? It's on the plate as well. Few passes, players coming, but just can't finish it off from either of the two sides. We see two minutes approaching as well there, but you see the ball moving around. They're just a little bit anxious, moving bad first touches of teams here, making it a little bit awkward. But you have to give credit to the, the captain in the blue there. Moving well, keeping the ball. Could have tied this at one apiece here. So this is going to distance if the Meteor don't finish it within the next 30 seconds, I say. Timito had to get that clear. Luckily, the other teammates to really support him back towards the goal. And for now, Meteor can at least sign another, get another side of relief and play. Sky and prefer Nightlife. They're trying to respond how they can, and they are trying to get forward here, just trying to control the ball, outplay their opponents, and neither side really able to control the ball at this stage. Shinku is now going to try and go for an aerial attack. An aerial shot was wanted, and I think in the end it was prefer Nightlife who just dipped the ball down and cleared it away and there's a chance here for prefer nightlife Seelox in the end it's lined up for Timmy to knock it away Horo will be going with a chance here and with a minute to go prefer nightlife maybe starting to feel the pressure to get a response goal now they've got 50 seconds and now they've got to find something Sky is trying to make something of this here in the end nothing well nothing fades away that build up all the pressure all out there it said if you're gonna do it you have to do it in about 30 seconds as Meteor sees that clock wasting down, you're just going to see them sending one man up here, close the space down, and keep on pressuring it. If they can recycle it once or twice, they'll remain onto that style of doing it. But you see Timmy moving it into the empty space, keeping it into the corner, pops it high up, boost, waste, team. It's all to the perfection. And they've played this one one too many times, and they're experts at it. Shinku was just trying to really put this game out of sight. It should be out of sight, even though not out have Nightlife have a chance of one more goal here. I think that in the end that was Seelox with the latest effort for the Meteor side, but nothing else should be coming out of this game. The ball's still loose and nothing will happen. Meteor close it out so close and not good enough from Prefer Nightlife.
Welcome back then to game number three. Now Meteor halfway there to taking this third place game and just need two more games to do it. It's best to seven and for Fair Night Life they've got some time to recover and Fair Night Life they've got a chance at least I feel. They are trying to get the ball early on here. Nothing just yet. Well nothing just yet but again opening game reset restart it's a different game all together here you might be down two but with the advantage at the best of seven you're not on match point like your standard league play and we've seen these two teams meet before results may have not gone one way or the other but again the pressure building up here quick response with the opening 30 seconds too it's a good start here but they have to be a little bit more accurate here need to try and be on point and Make sure they keep the ball in their possession as well. Meteor are now looking to go forward for the first time. Timito's got a good little chance here. The ball going back off the back ball, but there was no one in support of his teammate there, which meant he had to go through that solo, and it was a bit of a big ask, really. Sealox will try and clear the ball away, but if anything, it's a center for Fair Nightlife. Timmy, a great shot as after he saved Poro's attempt and pushing forward. Now they're going for the rotate, they're pushing forward here. They want the counter attack in their favour, but they just can't do anything with it. A minute gone, and so far for Nightlife, it's looking a little more likely that they'll get something out of this game. Horo just trying to set it up. There's a chance, potentially, for Captain, but he can't quite do anything with it. Sky can't even find the net just yet. The chance is still alive here. In the end, it's Horo who will strike it home. Oh, excellent, lovely players. Captain bumps, bruises, removes as well. Sky to the backboard, gets the touch. Drops in the middle, need to be gentle, get a wheel touch on to lowers it down and all what remains is a gentle touch. Horror beautifully taps it in as well. Great start here, 90 seconds here and go on and they've got themselves into a lead. Good start. Just the start they needed to try and maybe get a comeback in play. Horror, he's trying to control the ball but... If anything, Captain can get the ball centered. Shinku's there. He's trying to do something with it. He can't get it on the second attempt. It was Horo who had the shot away in the end, and the shot not quite on target. So close, just hitting the post. Shinku now trying to control the ball. He's beaten one player and tries to outplay some other players, but he just didn't have the ball to work with on his side. Meteor now starting to try and get the ball controlled, but it's Preferred Nightlife who have grown into this fixture, and they're looking to get a second goal here. Sky centering it. The defense does well enough for now, and... This, they can't do anything with the second attempt. Oh, gorgeous attempt to be for you. See, Sky gets it the clear direction to look at the captain, leaves it at a boomer. Look at the oomph behind the ball and gets it onto the right hand side. You see the cards pointing to the left hand side. Can get it as well. Quick start. And I think the media is getting shard here with the goals, but against them this time, two minutes and 50 still remains here in game number three. Prefer nightlife there. I'm feeling the pressure now. That was a good save by Captain, and he had to get that Shinku's effort. Almost bounced in. Sky now down the other end, looking, hoping the counter attack pays off, but it didn't quite work out in his favour. And Captain's trying to keep this attack alive for the side of Prefer nightlife. They can't do anything. It's an empty net, and Seelox will find the net on the other side. There's one back here for Meteor. Well, there's a slip one in. Shocking, and by how it is. Horo gets beaten. Seelox drops it down in Sky. Well, just left on the cloud on that one, picks it on, fortunately can't get it close to the left-hand side to whip the ball round, 2-1, half the game gone and by, could be a three-goal fest into the second half, but again, I think Meteor just be happy to finish it off with two. Good save by Timmy Toe with his little aerial effort from Captain Shot, didn't realise it was a shot, Timmy Toe. Still trying to push forward here, and the chances are live here. They sent to the ball, it's perfect, but prefer knife life. They just throw players at the ball, and it somehow works out. They can't do anything about that. Shinku found one back. Well, 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 found it back as well. Beautiful touch, gets the ground, gets the height on the ball, pumps it up. You don't know how much power this has to be judged perfect, but the two players in the side go left and right, scissors each other, and effectively can get the angle to close it off. Two goals apiece with two minutes. It's all popping up for Meteor now. Meteor starting to look better than they have been in this series. But down the other end, they have to fall back. They've got to save this somehow. They can't do it. For Fair Nightlife, instantly get the response. It's a third for Horo. Well, you're saying battered bruise, but they are sort of veterans here on the field. Gets away with one there. Horror tips it in as well from that touch as well. But it's just a little bit fortuitous at times. Three goals to two here. 
and we talk about quick Woo! shots of the predictions. Oh, that was gorgeous from the kickoff. That was so nice from her nightlife. Just Sky, it set up, it set up perfectly for Sky. Really, the shot in the end, perfect as well. Nothing which the defense could have done so close, but not close enough. And I'm stunned. Prefer nightlife. They've just been able to retain this lead. They were two. They were up two two, and now back with a two goal lead. Sealox is trying to keep this alive, and this will be devastating if Meteor loses now. But I don't think it's over somehow quite yet. A loose ball open, and Timmy trying to take advantage as Meteor gets something back. Oh, lovely little play. Shinron gets it, kills it dead. Timmy. Passes to the right hand side on the blue, and Sealux top right corner with a shot at 102 kmh. Great power, delicate touch, gets it into the corner of the dominance, hits it and powers it away. You said it wasn't done, it certainly isn't. With that minute of time left on the clock as well, this is turning into a what? feast. It's a fifth for nightlife. It's just complete chaos at this stage. Sky gets another goal to that name and Sky, just the effort here, so nice. An instant shot. The angle is just perfect from Sky. That's 5-3 and Meteor, they won't want to lose this either. And you said not lose it. Quick little shots. Wonderful little players in between and so oh, I thought that was a quick concession. Three kickoffs in a row you don't quite see often, but must be nerves stepping in game number three. One team fighting from the corner, effectively. The other one strained for a 4 0 sweep. Doesn't look likely now. Meteor, they're trying to keep something alive here. They want to get another goal in their favour, but they just can't do it. Sky has got the ball going forward here, just trying to push forward. It's an empty net to open, but somehow can't hit it. The defence by Meteor just on point. Hollow shot will be knocked away, and Meteor just throwing players at the ball to make sure it doesn't end up in their net. Captain will easily clear it away, but if anything, it was a chance for Timmy Toad to take advantage. He can't do anything, and Meteor now have to just fall back. 30 seconds, a much closer fan. Finally, acquired a bit of play, really. Timmy Toad is trying to keep this alive and both sides really trying to keep the ball going and Meteor want this alive, Sealox is there looking to get a shot in, no one quite there, a little bit too heavy for a nightlife will clear away and Timito is trying to keep this alive, there's 20 seconds left, Sky wanted to go for the ball and they can't do it, Sealox has got one back, 17 seconds, can they do it? Well can they do it? Yes they can quite simply, Timmy leaves it, Sealox is there, gets that corner Horo caught between the middle boost and ball, trying to get into that third rotation as well. Can't get it either. One goal in 17 seconds, a little bit more time than the opposition was asked last time. And there's a pile up in the middle. Oh, they could have had a quick one shot on two, but they're 10 seconds remain. It really is throwing the kitchen sink to keep it alive too. Timmy Toe's trying to control it. One last chance. He's beating one player. The ball's there. The chance is alive. And he <gasps> can't quite get it. Oh. <laughs> Prefer nightlife, just clinch it and get it in their favour right at the end, but Meteor had that chance for 5-5. Five five. Oh my, that's amazing. That, oh. <laughs> oh, I mean, all the right stuff was there. Get the ball high, keeps it up. Demo the keeper. One shot, one chance to tie it back up. And one pixel to destroy the hopes and another game has to be played and Meteor I think will be relishing the chance but I don't think they will be happy with that. I think they want to finish at 4-0 and with all the chat in the Twitch there spamming the keep it to the script. Well, I think it's certainly proven that it isn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. I don't know how on earth that happened. Meteor... They can't quite, they won't get a clean sweep here, but Prefer Nightlife, you have to give it to them. <laughs> Great reaction. Three goals from Horror, two from Sky at the end, man. You just think, what if Meteor got that? It's, it's sad, really, for Prefer Nightlife, because they just did that so well. 2-1 then in this series, and Meteor surely will be gutted by that. Prefer Nightlife, that's their motivation to keep going now, surely. Well, surely, but it's what damage has been caused by that. With three seconds down to the kickoff, a quick response we've seen in all three games so far, but it's usually favouring Meteor. We'll find out which side gets it this time. 
Prefer nightlife. Trying to get something in a minute. Hit me too. What is that? That's so nice. He gets a lead for Meteor. Just getting the goal. That's the goal that they wanted at the end of the last game. Just a nice aerial effort. Well, it's a nice effort. The back pass there. The angle. The project resource underneath the crossbar. The captain has to give a touch. And he was left dangling by the feet of his car there. Effectively. Couldn't get a touch either. Ten seconds gone now. Quick goal. Beautiful as well. We just need to get one or two little more successions like that. And Meteor will make feel themselves a little bit more confident after that diabolical touch in the last game. Oh, that was a good chance there. Good bit of communication. Sky was ready to try and take control of Captain's effort, but nothing quite possible. Down the other end, Shinku was just a little bit too close to the wall to knock that in. And trying to keep this alive on Meteor as they look and hunt for the second goal. It's Sky with another good save on the back of it. Shinku... So He's trying to find something in Shinsuke, Shinku. I don't know how to say his name. It's Timmy Toe with an effort, and Seelock's trying to keep the chance alive, and it's a good save from Captain with a minute gone. It's Meteor trying to control this lead and get a second. Oh, you see, a try to control the lead. Oh, Timmy does slightly wait, Shinto there. Try to move the ball, gets a redirect attempt, there. just wisps away. There couldn't get it either, either. But 90 seconds. It's a quick response. The pace is not as quick as game one and two, but you can see them trying to outstyle their opponents here. Not quite working just yet, but they need to get that second goal before they can really pull off some of their magics, as we said earlier. But again, the blue team building up. They're not letting the ball slip away like last time. They're keeping it tight with this one goal game. Timito was trying to get something there a little bit too far to, to really control the ball, but. It's okay for Meteor because they've still got the advantage. Maybe not for long, no. It's Prefer Nightlife trying to pile on this pressure and trying to get a response goal. Sky centers it. It's perfect from Horo. Well, perfect as in some sense. Sky gets it, keeps it tight to the wall. Horo gets a touch. Timmy jumps up, gets the opportunity. Not sure how much boost he has, but can't get himself positioned tight enough into it and hence it just pinches off him effectively by the last sort of tip of the car one a piece in the game as well three minutes still left could be a good game here sky open net oh I almost had the chance to really knock it home there but just didn't quite work out in their favor prefer nightlife they're looking more likely to get a second here and two players committing and maybe that was the mistake as sealocks found the save there an easy save and they will just about clear it away from the Meteor side. Now they rotate forward. Now they go for the counter-attack. Horo did enough to just put off the attacking players from Meteor. And Meteor, they won't be allowed another attempt instantly. Down the other end, go Prefer Nightlife. And halfway through this game, it's Prefer Nightlife. And either side look just as likely to get a goal. So close. Not close enough from the blue team. Well... A chance there to break the deadlock, get that opportunity, can't get it either, but you'll see the blue team here, they're not as comfortable as Meteor, you'll see them either double commit, gets the ball, touches it slightly harder, not control them as elegantly as their opponents are, but when they do get the opportunities, they are pounding the net, they're trying to get it, forcing somebody to save it here, but there's no real response until that moment, and Horo gets the equalizer, and then ties up the opportunity maybe in the series too. We've seen Meteor be able to come back from these sort of situations before. Look at just what happened in the last game. Meteor have got it in them to be able to respond to Nightlife. Need a third goal to really secure anything from this third game. Is Timito going to get something here? Is it, no, it's, sorry, it's the fourth game, isn't it? My mistake. You can confirm that, can't you? Uh, don't worry about that, but you can count the amount of games the goals are really on to play at the moment here. Sky, beautiful touch there. Timmy drops it, but can't get it out of the way. Sky gets a lovely goal there. Not really much you can say. 3-1. Prefer Nightlife then. They've got that third guard this stage at least. And maybe could try and just close this out now meter are going to try and respond and they can't quite get anything they're having to just clear the ball away it was captain about that latest chance for pn it's sealox now towards the other side and the chance was set up there for timmy but timmy couldn't quite get control of the ball sky just committing to that effort as well Horo also trying to chime in and get something for the preferred nightlife side and 
It is the third night life now having to do a little bit of defending. Leeds are trying to push forward, trying to get some sort of goal here and approaching the one minute mark. This might just be it. Meteor has to get a goal now rather than later. I was saying now our leader, 60 seconds. Leif really get a quick goal here. Leaves about 30 seconds. Keep the ball up. We've seen her take the word on one of previous games. Just couldn't get the ball into the net after a demo. But again, Nate Leif here just keeping one man, sending it up. When they send the two, you see hesitation slip in here. But the repertoire of shots could be good here. And the captain, Fabulous here. But it's just more than that. He's done the save, and that might have just kept Preferred Nightlife by winning this sort of fixture here. Captain trying to make it a fourth here. They want to just close this game out. They pretty much have it secured in their bag, and Hall are trying to keep this alive as well. So close from the Preferred Nightlife side, but now they've got to fall back and defend. It's Sky, who's just had to knock that ball away. If anything, it's out from Shinku, and Timmy Toe gets one back. Maybe something else could come out here. 13 seconds for Meteor. Well, you see the captain pushing up, Shinron gets it off the bar, could have easily stepped in, and the captain, well, just batters the opposition, doesn't matter, gets the ball, scores a 3-2, 13 seconds, it's enough, but how much will it be? Meteor need to try and get the ball forward here, they've already lost one player, Sky demoed one, and the chance has now pretty much been lost, this is the last chance, Meteor trying to press forward, Sky cut, this is it! Captain with the massive save. One last chance they had, and it was there for me to, but they just couldn't quite close it out. We're not keeping to the script. Prefer Nightlife, they've tied up the series. Well, tied it up. Two goals came in by a few back in and forth, and then 3 2. A meteor trace a tip of back, and what do you mean we're not keeping the script? We're meant to pretend, aren't we? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry, this is the script, isn't it? This is now yes. where they come back. Yes, and then that happens as well, then maybe a potential game seven, but the only way is watching. Exactly, you have to stay watching just to find out what happens in this series, and it'd be nice if we got a seven game series, wouldn't it? We And this, we've got the foundations here for a seven game series and what we've seen from both sides so far. Well, we absolutely have the opportunities of seeing it, I mean, it's just now is just setting the foundations, we've got it. Now the meat's on the bone, let's see if how much they can take off, sizzle us with the treats as well. But let's put it this way here, I mean, Twitter thought Meteor was going to win it. Well, it looks a little bit more shaky here now. <laughs> I, I just want to ask chat quickly, what is um, the flavour of those Doritos chips that they're spamming in chat? I think yeah, it's just spicy. I don't know what the spicy. flavor is. Yeah. Hmm. I'm more of a Pringles man myself. Oh, Pringles are good. You know what I prefer? Ooh, I prefer tell Nightlife. Me. And it is Nightlife who will be looking to try and kick off this series and get it back in their favor. 2-2 two -two on maps. And now it really comes down to Meteor having to try and respond how they can. They've lost the past two maps and Maybe the pressure's starting to get to them, and with Captain getting that early shot in their favour, Horro's trying to respond as well, and Fair Nightlife are trying to start this off as they've been, as they've resumed really, trying to keep the pressure on, trying to get the shots in their favour. Captain just going to control the ball, and I think he tried to set up a teammate there, but that's risky, that's damaging. Shinku had a chance, and Tibito's going to knock it in. Well, you just knock it in, it's simple as that, Horro. Tries to control it, gets sandwiched there, Shinron with a quick shot off the bar, puts it in, Timmy, finish it off, wonderful little players, lovely to see, and suddenly, maybe the Pringles, maybe the party has finally popped off, I wonder what's going to happen, who's going to finish it off, I'm just going to have to find out here. See, like, so trying to get control of the ball with Meteor now look to push forward, they're trying to keep the ball in their favour, and it is working out, there was a shot there, and... In the end, I think it was Sky who knocked the ball away. Meteor now just slowly but surely keeping control of the ball. Seelox had a nice bit of control in the air, an aerial dribble then. If anything, Meteor, they're just again going to be allowed to push forward here. Sky in the air, set up for Shinku, and that uh, was a crucial block coming up from the nightlife side of things. And a minute gone, both sides really looking keen to take this map. 
Well, very keen as well. Beautiful opportunities, but in the end, stuff, nothing major coming from either of them, just sending it down, seeing anybody breaks down, lack of concentration, and see if we can pounce on a few boost deals as well, Ooh. standard stuff as well. And oh, you're right, the ooh and ah there. Great shot, great save, but that's what I'm saying. Their long distance shots are just there to test the keeper. Nothing special. And with that 90 seconds gone, we could be seeing maybe one or two mistakes slipping in. Yeah, both sides need to just stay focused, keep calm, and keep coordinated in what they're doing in their plays because it's starting to look a little bit messy now. Prefer Nightlife then pushing forward. The chance I thought, I thought that was going in the net. Nothing quite yet. The save was good enough from Seedox and crew. Shinku will be able to get another chance away, but still the ball's flying in. Hollow, he finds the net. Well, we spoke about moments. That's one as well. Horo gets it as well. Temmy bumped, battered, bruised, left laying there. Tangs the game back up as well. One up he's here. Meteor, we've seen them dominating. We've seen them struggling. I'm not sure what the, between the two they are at the moment, but something isn't clicking compared to the opening games here. But Nightlife certainly getting this game back where it belongs. Oh, I was looking to get something. The ball is loose, and there was a chance for Fair Nightlife to be able to push forward. Then they will for now just retain control of the ball. Sky looking for something in effort. If anything, it was Sealox who had the upper opportunity there to try and take advantage. Loose ball. Both sets of players pretty much flying all over the map, and halfway through this game, it's it still just feels really clumsy and really messy. Sky's trying to take advantage. The shot was there, but just wasn't quite on point, just so close, bouncing off the crossbar, and Captain is trying to recover something here for Preferred Night Life, and there's an open net to work with! <laughs> oh, lovely little players there. Captain from the ceiling moves it down, you see Sky there waiting patiently, could have easily finished it off. Misses by the slight air breath there, effectively. Gets Captain in as well, but earlier in that little play too, you seen it hit the crossbar once and then twice, hits the same bars a few times in between. Lovely ideas coming in here. Nightly back in it, they're hungry and they're ready and waiting to take Meteor to the cleaners. Woo! That almost went in from Sealox. That was an amazing effort. Hollow to save. And they still can't get it in. Meteor now really desperate trying to find something here. And there's a shot, an open net for them to work with. and. Somehow the defending side of Prefer Nightlife clear it away and they're doing what they can. There's 90 seconds for Meteor to get a response. They've scored late goals before, so it wouldn't come as a surprise if they did score one around this time of the game. They are trying to get something, but a man short after that demo means they just have to slow things down. Timmy Toe is trying to keep control of all. He's got it in his favour and it's perfectly set up and no one from Prefer Nightlife looks to be going for that. Well, didn't look like it, but again, you have to give Timmy good control, slows it down, pops it, passes to a teammate, lovely eight here, it's coming out for Meteor, not quite working in the sense that the goal's coming from them, but they have to keep going, have to keep grinding, but when you have a backboard like that, the position control needs to be a little bit more there, but with 50 seconds approaching here, Nightlife could easily slip one back in from a quick counter, and it looks like it's coming too. Oh! So unlucky there, it was Sealock to eventually set up and finish Sky's effort there. Really unlucky and just a long ball in. It looked to just be across from Sky in the end, just knocked in and I think either way that was going to be going in unless Meteor had an amazing position at that stage. So unlucky and this map might be game over. Well, if it's game over, well, they might need a little bit of CPR to kick it back in the life here. We've seen Meteor numerous of times get this game back within one. Potential on the OT can't finish it off either, so don't blame him for presuming that. But with 30 seconds, with two goals to the deficit as well, it just looks a little bit more dire and bleak in comparison to their last options or two. And that would have been the nail into the coffin, but a quick counter could have had that life of hope earlier. But it doesn't come a piece. Ten seconds remains. See, so obviously, senses it perfect. There was a player there, but somehow the preferred nightlife side just able to clear it away. And they're now looking to score fourth right at the end here. Nothing else for Meteor and Prefer Nightlife. They do complete the comeback. 3 2 here, and one more game. And that's going to be it for Prefer Nightlife. They've got it. Well, if they have got it, it's be a fabulous attempt. But again.
I mean, they had the playoff and the hashtag circling around here. Don't know if there's been any more updates on that one with the viewers currently typing away at home there. But, well, uh, don't forget to join the Discord as well and I'll follow if you're enjoying it or watching even on the YouTube. But again, you're going to know it if the result's there. You might skip on, but don't stay attuned here. That game 7 looks very likely now. I'm sorry, I've just been sort of scrolling through Twitter. Use the hashtag, hashtag ECC Playoffs. Neo's tweeted in to say, if you're not watching the ECC Playoffs, you definitely should be. The production and gameplay are amazing, and the gameplay is definitely really good, especially in this series. And without being mean to the other games you've seen today, this, I think, has been the most exciting one so far, just because of how back and forth it's been and how close it's felt. Well, her closest fell has been absolute fabulous. Now, a few people here taping in chat here we can see live at the moment as well. Be careful, they will do anything to silence the rebellion. Well, we'll find out, will it be silence? Will Meteor will fall into the sword here in this third base playoff? Started brilliantly in game one and two. A retreat here, left Nightlife back into it, to aid the series to a piece. And Nightlife marching with a 3-2 lead now. The nerves, the pressure, the stream, and the potential of losing all on Meteor's shoulders now in game six. It is Meteor trying to push forward and get the early goal, get the early advantage in their favor, and they can't quite do it for now. It's a, it's a closer, and it feels like a lot more fast place in this map and at this stage night life not quite able to find the back of the net but they are applying the pressure trying to find the chances in these early stages 30 seconds gone and so far just kind of end to end stuff timmy toe is a shot the chances then ah oh, i think that was sealox who had the chance on the other side and now horo he could just be given an open chance here good shot good block by um timmy toe and off of that horo rotates forward nightlife now have to fall back and a chance was potentially going to be coming in from Meteor. A much faster set of shots and gameplay coming out here. And for Meteor and Fair Nightlife, this is looking dangerous for both sides. Well, dangerous as well. They're just sharpening their blunt objects, trying to get that sort of quick swift blow into it as well. Either knock them out here, but it's now sort of getting a little bit more like knives poking away, trying to make that little puncture in the defense of Mark. Can't get it either here. Xelox moving the ball back and forth here. Defense a lot more better. Good saves into the corner as well. But we're approaching that 90 second mark. Oh. Hugely dangerous as well. But no goals from it just yet. And I think that'll be a first time in this series. Timmy Toe, just an easy shot pretty much. Just don't know how he's been given an open net to work with, but that's an advantage for me to, and it's just what they need. Now a couple more goals would help them secure that. Timmy Toe, who's got the um, little tag of tactical whiff, uh, doesn't whiff when it's most required. Well, he might whiff or two, but again, he has been playing that perfection. He does well as well. Kickoff seemed to be very stable and dead here, but... Well, it looks like a good game number six here, and Nightlife isn't just wait, playing patient and defensive. They're attacking more aggressive. They seem to be the Meteor 2 Meteor at the moment. Oh, well, I was trying to get something there, but it just got set up for Meteor, realistically. They couldn't do anything with the chance, and it is going to be Captain looking to clear the ball when push forward, go Nightlife. Seelox had to make a save there. He did it good enough, and off of that, Meteor might have a chance to be able to get a counter-attack in play, but just, there was a lack of players really available going forward, and Captain's just denied them the chance to keep the ball going forward here. Sky keeping the pressure up. And there was another shot coming forward from Captain, and or at least a pass going forward, and just so messy, and so many players committing to that, but in the end, doesn't quite pay off for a goal for Meteor. Meteor now have to reset. They have to try and push forward here, and halfway through this game, it is Seelox setting up a chance, a chance there, but for a nightlife, couldn't get it, but for now, they can't quite knock it in themselves. Well, Captain pushes that ball back into it. They can't finish it off as the hints and the oohs and the ahs and a few opportunities to get a good, but a counter quick like that. It goes slightly away, doesn't realise time and pressure. The options left and right for their teammates here. Comms might be slipping down a little bit here, but two minutes approach here. Not enough time to really get worried, but I think doubt's creeping into nightlife here. They might realise the wins on the cards here and they might have white line favour at the moment. 
Homer was just trying to get control of that, but if anything, it's going to be set up for Shinku. The shot, the long range effort is so good, and that doubles Meteor's lead. Prefer Nightlife. Bit of an ask to come back from this. Possible, definitely. And Shinku, just his nice long range shot there was brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Picks a spot as well, and you see Timmy lurking away. They're pulled away from it. Doesn't want to risk it, eh? They're two goals lead now. For forces Nailife to get back into it now when they're required. They get back into the series and bring it potentially an OT. They were the only team to do it so far! And that is a beauty of a fake two! The confidence to do it in the third match final as well. Oh, it doesn't get any better. That is so nice. And just the tap to Sky from, I think it was Hora who just set it up. This is so nice as well. A brilliant fate coming out of Fair Nightlife. They've got one back from this. They've got 90 seconds to be able to recover as well. Definitely possible, but Timmy Toe will be looking to send the ball forward here. Meteor looking to keep this lead, this two goal deficit in their favour. And with Sea Dogs being demoed, it just adds a little bit more pressure to Meteor to get another goal. Really, and they're struggling. It feels like both sides starting to feel the pressure, definitely. And with a minute to go, a chance was there for Timmy. Look to get something off the back wall, but couldn't quite get it. And back they fall to the rotation. Sea Dogs might have just automatically set it up for his opponents and did enough in the end to knock it away in the air. And off of this now, Meteor are going to try and push forward. A shot, not quite going to be faked out this time by Captain. Captain now pushing forward. The shot, the centre's there. They can't quite knock it in. Well, Quank can't knock it in. The gentler touch would have been nicer, but you see opportunities coming thick and fast. Players trying to come down here. Captain Third Man put all his chips onto the cards there on that one. Pushes quickly, tries to keep the pressure. 30 seconds away, this ball's going to have to remain in the air for some time. If the captain here can't keep the ball up, but the opportunity there by Horo. Finds an opportunity, can't slip in and either. Good rotations from both sides here. This turns out to be a good match so far. A good shot actually by Hora, and that's so unlucky by Shinku. They get it back, they score the goal at the end, and that was just so unlucky by the defending side of Meteor. Just the effort there by Hora just beat his man, and Meteor will be gutted by that. They've let a two goal lead slip in with 10 seconds. Overtime is looming. Oh, Lumen as well, 11 seconds, good rotations as said coming out, just had to risk it there, you've seen the opportunity, just didn't realise how well it was, but when you can get kickoffs like that, it could be possible, game 6, could it be done, could it be O? Oh? It's definitely OT, take it away please. <laughs> Meteor had the, t oh, they were 2-0 up and prefer nightlife just recover and get back into it, overtime it is and over time to split up these two sides. Prefer Nightlife just need one goal to finish third in this tournament, and that would be a great little finish. And Meteor, they'll be so gutted if they lose this. It would have been a whitewash, a clean reverse sweep side off of this. And going forward, it was Meteor trying to find a shot, the chance. Sea Dogs will get another shot in. The chance is live. It was there. Shinseek might just keep this chance on. Attack going forward here for Meteor, but they can't quite control the ball. It's Prefer Nightlife who scramble it away, and good bit of timing there, good bit of patience from Timmy Toe. And off of that, Captain Shot, so close, not quite going to be close enough. Falling back on Nightlife, and Nightlife, they've got the chance here, it's knocked down. Chinzik does enough in the defending end, and Sky just trying to keep this alive, just paying it back to his own teammate. It could be risky, it was a block really from Chinzik at the end there, and Meteor with a minute gone. Can't quite find the net. Can't find the net. I mean, you sit here and look at all the opportunities in the end stuff here. You just see Nightly back into the opposition, tries to get a quick old moments meteor, then back to Nightly. Couldn't get it either here. Captain earlier in the first 40 seconds was spending a good minute of time bumping the keeper, trying to get a quick shot here. All what needed was a gentler pass in, and it could have been all over. We talk about that 4 0 sweep of Fatley. It just doesn't come around that often, but when it does, it's special! And it's slightly wide too, and it could have been all over. It's not over yet. Meteor still staying in this with just approaching two minutes of overtime play. Timmy Toe is going to try and set it up, and Meteor have to get a goal here to keep themselves in this series. Captain down the other end, looking for the shot, and he won't be allowed to find it just yet. A good little interception a good fake a shot is there potentially going to come in meteor can't find the net and 
just about we're going to be scrambled away yet again by preferred nightlife we saw her nightlife miss a chance that was meteor on the exact same thing down there and then two minutes gone it's so close and now the pressure really being piled on by both sides sky trying to center it can't quite get it Dearly sort of silence dead there moments ago off the line stuff there gets it away good save there by meteor keeps it into the middle of the field that's dangerous you see opportunities one with one lack of a touch there and you see the team in the blue knife life pouncing on that opportunity we're approaching there enough a half a game of normal regulation too could easily been slipping away either two teams to serve as we deserve a game seven as well but knife life wants to get this bedded and done but meteor isn't going away just yet you know oh I nearly had a chance there to pretty much close out the game prefer nightlife they can't close it out just yet and now it's meteor pushing forward going for the chance it's they're trying to knock it in Horo had to make a good little save there just to keep them in it but meteor they're applying the pressure they're keeping it alive they're looking for the goal sealox has got it you have got it, and we're going to a seventh map. Well, Captain, a little bit slow, must be a little bit of boost to pray with their horror left. Their sky pushes too far, didn't know what was happening. Seen the last man lurking there. Sealux drops it down, the last possible pixel two gets it into the corner. Oh, it couldn't be tighter. 3 2. Last time it was 3 2, and the opportunity from getting match point the meteor coming back from match point. Now the third place match, all oh, a family in this best of one here. I hate to see what the hashtag is going to be like with all this game seven, but chat, come on, let us know. You tell us who's going to win. Use the hashtag, hashtag ECC playoffs, and this has just proved to me how enjoyable and how fun Rocket League can be to watch. Meteor, who looked most likely to fall out, they went to no recovered and it's only five minutes of gameplay but this shows how close and how intense it can be it's a seventh map we're going to be going to which is going to determine it's just five minutes now pretty much between these two sides plus overtime and i don't know how what to think of this do keep using and sending in your messages on twitter and if, if i was stunned by that sort of miss shot in the second game i'm more than stunned him out. Well, opportunities are decided by one roll of the dice most of the times, and we've seen half a dozen as well. Stuns, shocked, surprised, superlatives you can use, the thesaurus you can throw at the game, best of seven, winner takes it all. Let's get it started. Meteor trying to get the ball from the kickoff here, and actually they were looking more likely to get it. Timmy Toll was trying to get it, but Fair Nightlife, they're now looking to push forward and getting the early goal. They've almost got it. I thought that was in Sealox. A crucial, intense save, and they will keep Meteor at bay in the early stages here. Goalless, but there's a shot, a good chance. It's going to be a little bit too high, and the rebound effort's not quite going to be knocked in quite yet. And I'm... I'm amazed with how close this has been so far. Timito trying to get something here going forward. For me to at this stage with 30 seconds gone, they were looking more likely to try and get a goal here. Looks likely an opportunity for a few backboards you've seen throughout the series. Again, the idea from Nightlife gets that opportunity, packs another punch at the backboard, can't get it either. You've seen the predictions earlier, you see the opportunities, and that! is arguably the biggest miss to a greatest goal! What up now? <laughs> Sky was just pushing in and just the tightest angle with an empty goal to work with. Captain just about there and the defending player for Meteor wasn't quite able to clinch it out of play. Not good enough and so unlucky. That's Prefer Nightlife who get the advantage early on here. Horo is trying to just control the ball here from the kickoff but won't quite be allowed anything. It's going to be Timmy Toe for a bit, and Meteor now trying to recover and get this next go. And well, they've got a chance here. Maybe not the shot that Timmy Toe wanted in the end. It turned into a good shot for Seelox, captain, the player to knock it away for Preferred Nightlife. And Preferred Nightlife, they were rotating forward. They might have to now rotate back. Shinzik not allowed to touch that. Seelox almost had a chance there. Just the position and the block almost allowed it to go into the net. And 
Meteor, they're trying to recover, they can't. An open net, an open chance, but for now, Meteor can't quite find anything. Well, Meteor can't find anything. Opportunities, Hopper players trying to get there. You see Meteor putting the pressure. Quick shot, you're seeing them speeding up. They're seeing them trying to thump the shots. Quick balls down into them. We'll see if the defense is in there in knife life. But moments ago from Sky near missing and the goal slipping in. How much will that be the difference in this game? It's going to already be a huge amount so far. Simply due to the fact that it's 1-0 already. And you see Meteor looking a little bit nervous. We haven't seen that majorly so far. But this half team approaching as well. Only 1-0. Louis 2K. Do you still fancy your protection? <laughs> It's really scary if you're like a Meteor supporter at this point. They've come so far. They've got it back to the seventh game as well and prefer nightlife just starting to look stronger and growing stronger with every bit of hope that Meteor sort of lose and their confidence, it feels like it's dying. But I'm not going to say it's game over yet. Timmy Toe has a shot. It was so close as well. Just hit the back wall, the corner, the shot, the chance is still alive. And in the end, they were trying to center it in the end, Seelogs. I thought he blocked it, but it was just going to be set up for Shinzig and Shinzig couldn't get anything. Horo down the other end for Prefer Nightlife. They're trying to go and keep this alive and Prefer Nightlife have grown to life at night. It's 1-0 to them and two minutes left for Meteor to get a response. It's possible, but Prefer Nightlife looking more confident. Well, it's Nate and Jay between the two teams. An opportunity originally from the side of the bar. And then again on the opposite end, that team just goes slightly away. Not trying to finish it off in Sky with an opportunity to double. Hand the space, hand team could have even afforded to slow it down. We don't know what Nath Light will do. Will it slow it down? Will it waste the day or go for the second goal? Some teams offense, defense, what's the decisions? That's their choice they have to make now with that one minute 22 coming out. But meet here. They're playing it smart. They're not putting everything on the line so far. But you'll see that switch coming around the 45 second marker. And they have to go for the game. But the central ball could have been deadly once again. 60 seconds approaching. This best of one now in the seven could be all over. Meteor have to try this one than they can. And I thought for a second that it was looking scary with that little chance going forward. A messy ball ended up being centered there for Meteor. There was no one quite there and still this aerial ball not looking dangerous. It could be dangerous now. So Zendik wanted the chance, wanted to try and pressure him, but it was an easy little block and interception from the opposing Fair Nightlife player and the Fair Nightlife. They're looking for a second goal. It's an open goal. A chance coming out here. A good save from the Prefer Nightlight camp and there's 30 seconds here for Meteor to try and take this to overtime at this stage. They're going to have to do it in overtime now and time is really ticking away and I feel that they've lost it. Prefer Nightlife, they've looked stronger, they've looked more dominant in this last game and they look to be closing this off. Well, the door creaking ever a bit lower here but can't get it either. Opportunities when the captain puts one more on that. You have to see the scrambling down here for Meteor. The ball still in the opportunity. It's now getting passed back down. Oh, nearly, but not so far. So close, and what a game. What a series we've seen coming out here from Meteor and Preferred Night.